and uh, um, people like Barbara McClintock, who uh, in the 1940s and 50s, uh, she was demonstrating that organisms can change their own genes to adapt to situations. Uh, so the, the, the idea of being determined by their genes was exactly turned on its head by, by her and other people who showed that the organisms change their own genes so in what, an organized way. So what do you think is going to happen with genetically modified organisms? Do you think, do you think they're going to start changing the genes uh, well, that have been uh, put in them? Uh, when you realize how ignorant the molecular biologists and molecular geneticists have been, uh, you have to worry mm-hmm. that uh, things could be much, much worse than anyone so far has suspected. Uh, uh, James Watson, uh, the of Watson and Crick, who, mm-hmm. who uh, invented the, the structure to explain the double helix of DNA, mm-hmm. uh, he's now 88 years old. And uh, just a couple of weeks ago, he was quoted in the uh, New York Times as saying uh, if he was starting over to understand uh, cancer, he would not study molecular biology. He would study biochemistry. He said he never thought he would have to learn the Krebs cycle. He said, now, just a couple months ago, I had decided it would be necessary. But... uh, the, the, wow. the arrogance of these mm-hmm. uh, geneticists m- meant that they simply didn't have to know anything at all right. about biology. 